Okay, so welcome back. We I did a little looking online for a way to get through. Uh, I'm gonna save myself a. Oh, what's this? I thought I could bash through this door, but obviously not. We have to use a key. Um, and I did a little looking online. And I was, oh gosh, what's this texture all about? I did manage to find a. Um, what's this? This is some sort of doorway with must be a special bonus item. Yeah, it had an iron key and it also had a torso plate, which isn't very particularly good for this guy because, um, well. Let's let's use our iron key because this is our bonus iron key. Uh, we don't want to save it. Let's see what's behind the door. Yeah, but all I had to do was just wander through um, and click on a couple of switches that I didn't notice before in that room where all the skeletons and wizard eyes were spawning. Okay, so that's trapped me. And with two places to go. Okay, I'm well. That's difficult to get through. I think I need to time this perfectly. And once I... Damn it. I count through now. And this is the key to get out. Okay, so next section. What does this say? Test your strength. I take it we just need to throw something. Let's save here again. And make sure that we don't get stuck somewhere. Let's have a look though. Before we test our strength. Hear some creatures. And there's fire. Well, there's certainly a lot of creatures anyway for me to fight. Didn't check this corridor out, did we? I think we've recovered most of the goodies. that teleporter does. Should we try stepping in? Let's try stepping in. Well, now I'm truly lost. I might have to check my map to see where I am. I'm wandering down these corridors um, without really knowing where I'm going isn't getting me very far. Here's the altar of V. Oh, and an entrance to go down to the next level. So, if I wanted to, I could skip down to the next level. I think there's a few treasures and items that I can gather. Okay, let's just go and take out this wizard eye first of all. Yeah, there's some treasure over there, so we'll have out have ourselves that. Uh oh. I didn't expect him to go over the pit. Okay, 
have taken him out. What have we got? Mithril mail. Excellent. We shall give him mithril mail. And we don't need these pair of trousers anymore. I just want to find my way back to the test your strength area. What's this? Some sort of switch on the wall. Let's pull this. Always good to pull random traps. Let's open this. Ah, oh, you guys don't do too much damage anyway. We can take you one on one. I wonder if this is just a, a generator room actually, because it doesn't seem to be very much there. What's this? Usually these guys only do a small amount of damage, but he's hitting Hulk for quite a lot of a surprising amount of damage. That's more like it, one damage, that's what usually happens. Now let's uh, take these guys out before they end up killing me. be embarrassing if they do. I didn't expect that. God damn it. That annoys me. I didn't expect to be cornered, that's kind of cunning. energy. There's an altar of V nearby so I can always uh, regenerate everyone. It's a hassle though. Taking too long. Yes, I don't exactly know how they managed that. Was that because people are magnetically attracted to this region? I don't know. Let's try triggering that, see what it does. Oh, that just shuts the door. So there isn't very much to this room at all, apart from a... Oh, a Vorpal Blade. That's the treasure. Okay, but these bones are going to have to be regenerated. Anyway, that will take me a while to get round to, and... I shall pause the game and I shall see you when that happens. Okay, I actually decided to reload as opposed to go through everything, uh, um, pick up and go through, because in a way I'm a little bit lazy like that. So I'm just going to enter this room over here. Uh, we'll pick up some corn. This test your strength is a teleporter, so you can't actually run through. What you need to do is throw something through, and you can hear in the distance, a portcullis go. Uh, that is a secret passageway leading you to a bit more treasure. So let's go in here. 
Oops, what happened there? Oh, it spun around. We don't want to head down there because that corridor, you can't you can't walk down that corridor. It's a uh, it's a throw only corridor. And here you get some rat shanks. The drumsticks rather than rat shanks, I suppose. Um, and what do we need to do? You, well, the important thing is that you get these really cool Slayer arrows. Uh, a bit better than your normal standard arrows. Let's feed someone. Someone needs some food, surely. And we also get some mithril, a mithril Akaton. Which, uh, let's give that to Alexander. And that gives a little bit more protection. It's plus 10 instead of plus 6. While we're doing all this, one thing that we should be doing, uh, that we're not, is just charging up all my patients. Um, we've got a few patients at the moment, so we're not too worried. Now let's get out of here. This needs a key. And that's a key that we don't have. There's probably a, there probably is a key for it to be honest somewhere. And here's a room with a torch. So not a lot here. Is that a passageway that we can click on? I don't think so. But there's certainly some beasties behind that doorway. And so let's go and head over to the way we went before and disturbingly got killed. And we'll take these guys out this time. Why is he not using... Now their attacks are really rapid. I think there were three sets of skeletons last time, we just want to make sure that we clear out all the skeletons first. So we're not too bothered when they do two damage or three damage, it's when they just constantly get thumped. That annoys me. Right, this one damage doesn't really bother me. Come on, I'm gonna hit back, Alexander. Don't just get hit in the face. You have got mithril armor after all. And. If I was a bit more careful, I would be stocking up on patients right now. And so we look like as if we look as if we're in a different part of the dungeon altogether. I think I went down that way before. Oops. Okay, we're gonna have to use some fire. I hate that this is the coward's way. The other way was a lot easier. The uh, the way of strength or whatever it was. They've always almost got these things, the attack pattern of these things, identical to what they are in... Uh, in Dungeon Master, because they really are. Well, maybe they're they're a bit slow in Dungeon Master, I think. But they do have that kind of quick shot lightning bolt. In Dungeon Master, also they they tend to fire random spells in a random order. So they fire a fireball, they fire a Zo spell, which is a open door spell, and a lightning spell. So sometimes 
even if they corner you, you'll find out they're just firing Zoe spells, which don't do any damage to you. It's quite handy when that happens, but these guys only fire lightning. Okay, that's him taken care of. I'm sure someone else needs some food. Okay, well I'll have to, I'm going to, I'm going to recharge all my potions off camera I think. It does get quite boring uh, watching someone cast lots of potions, especially when their inventory is full. So those wizard eyes were just hanging down here. Nothing to do but just hang around. Not even a torch for treasure. You know, I wouldn't recommend sticking your hand in one of those cracks. Obviously that's the way this game is done. Okay, I was here last time. Ah, oh, they're trying to corner me. I think I should be able to take you guys. taken care of. Get Nibi to cast myself a light spell. The only difficulty, the most difficult thing here is inventory. Inventory management. So that one opens that doorway. There's nothing really there, but um, but skeletons. that door. Guess it allows you back. Don't want to fight that hoverfly which is why I shut that door rapidly. Okay, there's, don't think, I think there's a little bit more treasure here. I, mean, I think that you can find a few more Slayer arrows, or we could just head downstairs to where the main action is. Ah, what's the eye room? <laughs> That's not good. Not a fair exchange, I can only do a small amount of damage with my stones. Oh, there's a ton of them. Oh, there's a ton of wizard eyes. Annoying side. Can't believe they're missing so much. I 
I don't think there's anything even in that room. I'm just trying to clear this place out. One more was I down here. At least one. Two misses. They must be really good at evasion. I suppose they're floating around in the air, so they are difficult to hit. Backstab. Any more? Yep, another one. Maybe one's a skeleton generator, one's a wizard generator, so you can have fun fighting them anytime you like. Oh. Did you see that? There's one... One was generated behind me. I was not expecting that. Don't know if it is a, an inexhaustible supply of wizard eyes. Down some potions. Make myself feel a bit better. Oh, I just noticed a little trap trigger down here. Didn't see that before. Oh, come on. run out of healing patients now. Okay, clicking on that, what does it do? A healing patient because we're in dire need of healing patients. Yeah, I think something's firing something gets generated over there as well so there are two generators which isn't very fair
Only it's got one patient to fill. Yeah, that's that's it. There's nothing. There's nothing in here apart from that magic box. Literally nothing in here. Yeah, kind of what a waste of time. I'll just drink that, Syrah. Should we drop? 